Can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. Wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. We should check the traps. Who knows what Riddler did to this place? On it. Come on, John. Waller. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Thanks for the apology. I'm trying my best here, Bruce. I hate to say it, but I underestimated just how ruthless and capable these freaks are. You being inside. It's our best hope. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait, uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start it. It's fine, John. Riddler's eyes, they're a key to a door that lies somewhere in Gotham. And Harley doesn't know the location. She asked me to find it. Stay put for now and maintain your cover at all costs. This is our chance to get ahead of this train. So I say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Bruce. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the Black Sight. Hiding in the middle of Gotham, at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower at 15. I'll tell you what I know. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... You only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Now, now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Gordon, this is all one big mistake. Uh, shut your mouth and stay down! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. I don't get it. Having me arrested is completely absurd. Knowing what I know, it'd be absurd if you went free. What in the... Director Waller?! Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. You should listen to Waller. You can't touch me. Save it! Officers, I... please! He's involved! 
He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful of my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do this! Dismissed. Good riddance. Really, Bruce? You would say that after all I've done for Gotham? You tried to arrest me. And I was right to. But you! You should be ashamed of yourself. Leave, Gordon. Now. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Leave. I said get out. Fine. I hope whatever it is you're trying to do, you don't die. Because I'm not showing up for your funeral. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or failing that to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. I don't buy it, Amanda. What do they call you? The Wall? You're not one to let things slip through the cracks. It's terrible on my part, I know. Whoever has been conspiring around me, they're going to regret it. This whole situation. It's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky. But leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. <laughs> it's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. Makes sense. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. But sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it. 
about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. Okay, John. That's what we'll do. Oh, really? I knew you'd see reason. I didn't expect you to see it that fast. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. I'm calling her back in. Harley, we're done. Puddin, you might have surpassed the teacher. That was record time. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. <laughs> Please? It was Catwoman. She took your laptop. How do you know? Uh, sh she took a phone call at Riddler's. Bruce overheard her talking about it. I understand, Bruce. I'm disappointed, too. So much for the solidarity of sisterhood. <laughs> and here I was, starting to be a cat person. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like... skin a cat. <laughs>